hey guys what's up welcome back to roms for you today let's look at latest rom kitty pro 4 hour plus 12.5.1 stable version running on xiaomi poco f1 in this video i'll be sharing all the cons and pros of this rom as well as the day-to-day -day possibility of this rom i did already created a gaming video and if you are new here check out the description To begin with, let's talk about the ROM first. The ROM KT Pro originally comes from the VN KT Pro and both of these builds are based upon MIUI. The current version is 12.5.1 which is based upon MIUI 12.5. The ROM is based upon Android 10 and security patch is from 1st December 2020 which is pretty old. As same as their previous build, the ROM is also coupled with DNG kernel and this time the version is 4.5 Rogue. I personally love this build cause of the bloat free MIUI experience and performance. Now let's talk about the security session. The ROM does comes with fingerprint and face unlock option. The fingerprint worked pretty well but I was never been succeeded with adding my face. Each time I tried, the ROM was not detecting my face at all. This can consider as the first con. Moving forward, when I did try to hide my notch, it was simply not avail anymore. There is option present under developer option, but there is no presence of hiding notch. You can consider this as second con if you don't like the notch. The QS panel is including screen recorder and sadly it is not capable of recording internal audio and microphone at a time. Leaving that behind, I didn't face any lags or jitters after enabling it. The reason menu includes floating window feature and it works great. The another important feature I noticed is out of the box the ROM contains YouTube Vanced. If you don't know what it is. In simple word, ad free YouTube. Just that it is not officially from YouTube. You can enjoy your favorite YouTube videos without ads. Moving forward, the ROM UI is really smooth and responsive. I didn't find any issues here. If you see dialer, the ROM does comes out with a call recorder, this which is kind of missing feature in many of popular ROMs out there. Of course, it is not that mind blowing since it is part of MIUI and this feature is part of MIUI. This is kind of expected, just that it is working without any issue. The ROM does not pass safety net check out of the box since it is rooted, but after hiding Majesk, I was able to pass safety net ease. The device is Google Play Protect certified and running banking applications won't be a problem here. Maybe few apps may need some workaround. As I mentioned earlier, the ROM comes out rooted and to verify that I did use root checker and it did passed. The ROM is clearly rooted with latest Majesk 23, which I did hide as I mentioned. You can also check the safety net with Majesk here. Another important feature of this ROM is it includes MIUI stock cam. Almost all parts of cam works without any issue. So for gamers, the game turbo is here and it includes voice changer. Yes, don't take it wrong, but this is only for us. Whatever sound is here, your opponent will be hearing you by your own voice, not with changed voice, which is kind of lame feature. Could be this feature is broken as same as their previous build. Moving forward, there are some mind blowing feature for gamers as the ROM comes out with unlocked extreme graphics for balanced HD, HDR and even Ultra HD as well. The feature works pretty great even in BGMI. I will be including a HD plus extreme gameplay at the end of this video. Out of the box, the Android 2 scores 3,66,000 plus and Geekbench scores for single core 517 and multi core 2197, which are decent score for Snapdragon 845. Next important thing to talk about is battery. Yes, I did really spend 2 hours on BGMI, 
with different graphics and benchmarking, CPU testing and more and more. To understand more you can see the battery graph. By considering all you can get maximum of 7 to 8 hours screen on time with average gaming. If you game more it will give you maximum of 4 hours from 100%. The thermal handling of this room is really great. Even after this much gaming and work around, the phone was not that much overheated. Yes, it does heat up, but not that much out of control. To understand more about the performance, I am adding CPU throttling test, which lasted for 30 minutes. As you see, from the beginning to the end, the ROM was able to keep up the performance above 80% and the GIPS value was almost every time above 2 lakh, which clearly tells you the capability of this ROM. As I mentioned before, I am adding BGMI gaming test in bootcamp with HD plus extreme mode on. FPS is also enabled with screen recorder. Keep in mind that I am not adding this gameplay to understand how I play, but to understand how the room does perform in hot situations. The smooth and extreme gameplay was really great. I won't say it is 100% lag free, but can easily say that it is lag free more than 95%. Another important issue with this room is Geo OLTE. The devs are confirmed that GeoVolte is not going to work and they cannot fix it since the developers are from outside India. Now that the gaming is going on, let's conclude the video. If you already saw this video till very end, you might be already cleared about all the cons of this ROM as well as some extra features. Without any doubt, this ROM is a gaming beast, but there are some things which you should consider. So that's all for today, nothing more, nothing less, till next time, be safe and take care. Also subscribe if you like my work.